Today, starting the first week of February 2023, it's time to learn about the weekly best mods that grace the Tesnexus main. This video also prepared mods that you will be satisfied with. So please watch the video until the end. Then let's get start. The first mod I will introduce to you is Yennefer of Vergenberg Race. The Skyrim Yennefer of Vergenberg Race mod is a modification for the game The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. It adds a new playable race to the game, based on the character Yennefer of Vengerberg from the popular book and video game series The Witcher. This mod aims to bring the iconic character to life in the world of Skyrim, giving players the chance to experience the game as Yennefer. The Yennefer of Vergenberg race mod introduces a new playable race with unique features and attributes. The mod also includes a range of customization options, allowing players to further personalize their Yennefer character. This includes a range of skin tones, hairstyles, and facial features, allowing players to create a Yennefer that is unique to them. The mod is designed to be compatible with other mods and features in the game, including other race mods, custom spells and abilities, and new environments and landscapes. This allows players to further enhance their Yennefer character with other mods and customization options. In summary, the Skyrim Yennefer of Vergenberg race mod is a must-have for fans of The Witcher and The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The mod provides a new and exciting way for players to experience the game, and is a popular choice among Skyrim modders looking to add new races and characters to the game. The second mod I will introduce to you is Market Stalls Animated. The Skyrim Market Stalls Animated mod is a modification for Skyrim that adds dynamic and animated market stalls to the game's cities and towns. This mod aims to bring more life and immersion to the game's bustling marketplaces, making them feel like real, bustling places of commerce. The mod adds a variety of new market stalls to the game, each with unique animations and interactivity. The stalls are also designed to look and feel like a natural part of the game's world, with detailed models and textures that match the game's aesthetic. The Market Stalls animated mod also includes new and improved marketplaces, with a greater variety of goods and vendors. These marketplaces are designed to feel like real, bustling places of commerce, with a range of different goods and services on offer. The mod is designed to be compatible with other mods and features in the game, including new quests, custom items, and new locations. This allows players to further enhance their marketplaces with other mods and customization options, creating a truly unique and immersive experience. Therefore, the Skyrim Market Stalls animated mod is a must-have for players looking to bring more life and immersion to the game's marketplaces. The mod adds dynamic and animated market stalls to the game, complete with unique animations and interactivity, as well as new and improved marketplaces with a greater variety of goods and services. The second mod I will introduce to you is New Creature Animation Falmer. The Skyrim New Creature Animation Falmer mod is a modification for Skyrim that adds new animations and movements to the Falmer, a race of blind elves found in the game's dungeons. The mod aims to improve the realism and immersion of the Falmer in the game by adding more fluid and believable animations to their movements and actions. This mod adds different attack animations to Falmer. These attack animations are designed to be more natural and realistic, making the Falmer feel like a more believable and alive part of the game's world. The new Creature Animation Falmer mod is also designed to be compatible with other mods and features in the game, including custom items, new locations, and new creatures. This allows players to further enhance their Falmer experience with other mods and customization options, creating a truly unique and immersive experience. Therefore, the Skyrim New Creature Animation Falmer mod is a must-have for players looking to improve the realism and immersion of the Falmer in the game. The fourth mod I will introduce to you is Shield and Two Hands Weapon Parry Animation. This mod is designed to change the parry animation for one-handed weapons and shields in the game, making it look more realistic and satisfying. 
This mod replaces the game's default parry animation with a new, more fluid and dynamic animation that better captures the feel of deflecting an incoming attack with a weapon or shield. The new animation has been specifically designed to work well with both one-handed weapons and shields, as well as two-handed melee weapons. This mod is more effective when used with Elden Parry and Valhalla combat, and additionally supports animations for impactful blocking users. In conclusion, this mod is a simple but effective modification for Skyrim that replaces the game's default parry animation with a new, more realistic and satisfying version. The fifth mod to introduce to you is the My NPC Replacer No ESP series. This mod changes the appearance of various NPCs in the Skyrim world to be more immersive. This mod is currently split into six different replacers, Minor Follower, Vampire, Bandit, Soulstime Bandit, Housecarls, and Dawnguard. The biggest feature of this mod is that it consists only of facegen files and texture files, without ESP. This mod has separate male and female NPCs, so you can select and download the gender replacer you want, or you can select and download each NPC. This mod also changes the appearance of NPCs like enemy and housecarls that other NPC replacer mods do not. Therefore, if you use this mod together with the previously introduced NPC replacer mod, you can meet and experience more immersive NPCs and enjoy various events. As such, this mod is a must-have for players who want to give their game NPCs more life and immersion. The sixth mod I will introduce to you is Brute Force Simple Lock Bash SKSE. This mod adds a new gameplay mechanic to the game, allowing players to bash open lock doors and containers using Brute Force. In the base game, players can only open lock doors and containers by picking the lock or obtaining the key. This mod adds a new option to the player's inventory, allowing them to bash open locked objects using their weapon or their fists. This new mechanic provides a more direct and satisfying way to access locked content, and adds an extra layer of challenge and excitement to the game. Brute Force therefore adds a new gameplay mechanic to Skyrim, allowing players to use Brute Force to knock open locked doors and containers, providing a more direct and satisfying way to access locked content. The last mod I'd like to introduce to you is New Creature Animation Troll. This mod replaces attack animation for the troll creature in the game, making it look more realistic and satisfying. In the base game, the troll creature has a limited and somewhat rigid attack animation, which can detract from the overall player experience. This mod replaces the default troll attack animation with a new, more fluid and dynamic animation that better captures the feel of a powerful and fearsome troll. Therefore, the this mod is a simple but effective modification that replaces the default troll attack animation with a new, more realistic and satisfying version, enhancing the player's experience with this creature. This concludes the introduction of the mod. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes, and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.